Hello everyone, welcome back to our Unsettled Journey and welcome to Sacramento, California. We are in Placerville, California. Now Placerville is kind of a fun little town that is about 40 minutes away from Sacramento. It's about 20 minutes from where my dad lives and it's known for having a really rich mining history, but it's also called Hangtown. That's the nickname they give this place because they used to conduct a lot of hangings. So the town is kind of quirky. They have restaurants and shops, but they really embrace that Hangtown history. But again, the weather is cooler, but we're enjoying the sunshine. Down here, you can see on the Sacramento River that there are different companies you can um, rent uh, and do boat rides along the river. Some of them are dinner cruises, some of them are for special events, but this is a look out at the Sacramento River, which is right next to the Tower Bridge. We just made a stop over here behind me. You can see Folsom Lake. I don't know much about the lake, but I know that there are different recreation areas. Um, some of them you do have to pay, but this was just kind of a cool viewpoint that we stopped off at to see. It's a chilly day, but as you can see, there's really not too many clouds in the sky and um, it's pretty nice. So we're catching a view of the lake and gonna take some pictures and um, we'll move on to something else. So we took a break from shopping to come out to lunch and behind me you can see we came to a restaurant called Roxy. I always like to try local places when I come to a new city and this is something that I certainly haven't heard of before and can't find back where I'm from in Georgia. So we decided to come here. I got the French dip sandwich and it was surprisingly really good and the service is really good too. This restaurant is about 10 minutes from town so towards Folsom, which is near where we're staying. So kind of tried to find something that was between town and where we were staying to eat. But I'd highly recommend it if you are in the Sacramento area. This is on Fair Oaks Boulevard. And I believe it's right near a uh, university because I see a lot of um, kind of college signs and stuff, but it's a great place. And I would recommend it if you're in the area. We are walking around now at the Folsom Premium Outlets. They have about 70 different outlet stores here. Just trying to finish up a bit of holiday shopping. So that's the reason we're here in California is to celebrate the holiday with my dad. He lives out here. So we're doing a bit of shopping and we're planning soon to head down into Old Town Sacramento to go check that out. <music> We're walking around the old town and we came across some random painted rocks that people had left behind. So it's kind of neat. I'm assuming you can just take them, but they're all hand painted little rocks. It's been a while since I've been out here in California, so I'm enjoying seeing some things that I used to like visiting when I would come more often. It was really nice to be with family that I haven't seen in a while. Now tomorrow we actually have plans to go to Napa Valley, so we're really excited about that because um, we really like wine and wine tastings, so what better place to do it than Napa Valley? And my dad happens to be about an hour and a half away from um, some of the wineries in Napa. Now there's 800 wineries there, so it's really hard to narrow down just a few to visit. And actually for the tastings these days, um, you need to make an appointment. So that's what we did. We made an appointment. We're excited to do those tastings, but we've eaten some good food other than our Thanksgiving feast and the leftovers. We went to Round Table Pizza, which we don't have back in Georgia where we're from. And we also went to In-N-Out Burger, which is synonymous with the West Coast. So we had an excellent burger and we've been enjoying some great foods and great sights. So we're enjoying quality family time for the holiday and tomorrow we're gonna be in Napa Valley. are outside Castello de Amorosa, which is arguably one of the most well-known wineries here in the Napa region. And with over 800, there's really a lot 
um, of options and it's really hard to choose, but we decided to come to this one of how incredible Castle itself is. And you get six tastings with your wine tasting. Now, of course, for wine tastings here in Napa, they can get pretty high. Um, this one, for example, is 55 per person to taste. And you do have to make a reservation beforehand. That goes for the majority of the wineries in Napa, which is why we kind of just had to pick um, this one because there was so, so many and we kept seeing this one pop up um, over and over. So we felt like get inside and taste some of the amazing Napa wines. If you are enjoying this video and you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. We would love to have you join our journey and you can follow us over on Instagram at Our Unsettled Journey. Leave us a comment below and let us know if you've been to this area in California. Have you been to some of the wineries in either Napa or Sonoma? We'd love to hear your feedback on maybe some future videos that you guys would like to see. If there's any tags going around that you would like to see Matt and I do, we'd love to do that for you. So thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you next time. Bye.